Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca, and if you're new, welcome. Today we're going to be doing my September TBR, but also I'm going to do a wrap up for July and August really quick because I had technical difficulties last month and the file got corrupted. So in July, I read five books. I had the Summer Ween read along hosted by Olivia Reads a Latte and Gabby Reads. That ran from July 2nd to the 8th. So they had five prompts, which I completed all of, but I only read two books for it. So, so one of the, the first prompt was read in the dark. Um, two was read a horror, three read a paranormal, four Halloween colors on the cover. So black, orange, red, green, whatever. That was open to interpretation, whatever you thought Halloween colors included. And my cat decides now is the perfect time to eat. So if you hear that, I apologize. Um, and five, make a spooky treat. I did vlog this entire week, so I will have that video, um, and a card up above, but I, um, read five books, like I said. So for the Summerween read-along, I read No Exit by Taylor Adams. That was going to be my horror book. Um, I gave it four stars. It was amazing. I read that in the course of one day. Um, very much enjoyed it. It was my first horror read, adult horror, so definitely put me on the track for horrors and thrillers. Um, then I started Truly Devious, which was my read in the dark book, um, but I didn't finish it that week. And then really, and now she decides to play with her toy. Okay. And then I read Night of the Living Dummy by R.L. Stein, which took care of the rest of my prompts. It was a paranormal because it's about a talking ventriloquist dummy. Um, it had Halloween covers on, colors on the front. I will put up the cover. And I also finished it at night, so that covered those prompts. And then for the rest of the month, I read... I don't have the books with me. I'll put a picture. I read... Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson and then I and then I continued the series and I finished The Vanishing Stair and The Hand on the Wall all of which I gave four stars they were great I love them um the Truly Devious series follows Maureen Johnson um, the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson follows Stevie Bell who is a true crime aficionado she loves true crime she loves solving crimes so when she is invited to attend Ellingham Academy it's the best thing in the world because Ellingham Academy has an unsolved mystery. The wife and daughter of Albert Ellingham who started the school were kidnapped and nobody knows what happened. So she goes to solve that crime and that's what the three books cover. And then No Exit by Taylor Adams was about a girl named Darby who is driving home in a blizzard to see her mother who is unfortunately fallen ill and gets stuck by what the weather because of the weather at a truck stop and as she's outside looking for a signal she discovers a little girl trapped in a dog cage in the back of a van and that book had so many twists and turns it was ridiculous i loved it so much um so those were the books i read in july august was my last month of school so i don't think i read too much um i read four books or i um finished four books so again I don't have the book I'm so unprepared um I finished From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armantrout that was a reread for me um again follows Poppy the maiden I talk about this book so much I really don't think I need to get into it and her love interest Hawk so that'll be it um I finished the middle grade um I started it in July but I didn't finish it until August it was titled The Memory Thief, and it's part of a 13 Witches series. It's the first book in the series. But um, I don't remember the author, and the book is all the way back in the bookshelf, so I can't reach it. Um, but it was really cute. It was adorable. It's about a little girl whose mother forgets her. She knows her mother loves her in her own way, but for whatever reason, her mother is kind of like apathetic towards her. And um, then she discovers there are witches and there is a witch called the memory thief who steals memories. So she believes that maybe the memories her mother has of her were stolen. So she sets out to find that witch. 
and then I read a I read a smutty romance called One Dark Night. I will have the cover. Um, again, don't remember the author, but this was definitely a reread. Um, I've read this book a million times. I just found it one day and I wanted to pick it up, so I did, and I finished it. Um, and then the final book I read in August was Truly Madly Deadly by Hannah Jane. Um, this follows a girl whose boyfriend is killed in a car accident and then a few days later she gets a note in her locker that says you're welcome. Um, this was a ridiculous thriller. I read it in one day. I started it, um, I want to say around 5 30, 6 o'clock and I finished it by 10 30. Um, amazing. I definitely gave that one four or five stars. Loved it. And that's what I read in July and August. So let's get to my September TBR. This month I am participating in another read along. Um, maybe two. I'm not sure. I was thinking about doing Becca's, um, book off -lathon, book off but I'm not quite sure on that one yet. But I am doing the magical read along hosted by G from Book Roast. Um, I've loved her read-alongs in the past, so I knew I definitely wanted to do this one. So I have the Traveler's Key on my iPad with the books I was going to do for them. So for the Novice Path Entrance, you have Read a Book with a Map. Now through this one, I have two. So I have one that I've started that I really want to read, but I haven't been able to get myself really like into it. So that's in this book sleeve. Um, so that is... I don't have the cover on it, but Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Prada. This was a book that I picked from my top 21 books to read in 2021 last month. And as you can see, I've started it, but I have not finished it. Um, I'm about 140 pages in, but this book does have a map in it. Um, so I was thinking of this one, but I also am continuing my read along of the Blood and Ash series. So I also have A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, which is the second book in the series. And this one also has, it has a map, I swear, if I can find it, here it is. <laughs> this one also has a map. So this one I've been um, just like speeding through and this one I haven't picked up in a while. So I'm thinking I'll pick this one for the book with the map and then this one will just be an extra one that I can get to whenever I feel like it. But um, so that's my choice for the novice entrance and then ash thorn tree a book that keeps tempting you or top of your tbr that would have to be shadow of night by deborah harkness this is the second book in the all souls trilogy i finished my reread of a discovery which is june maybe i think so i'm currently on part three which is chapter 15 and page 227 um, I've been reading the book along with listening to the audiobook, so I haven't actually annotated this one, but I love it. So far, it's amazing. I'm trying to get through this so I can watch the second season in the series. Um, yeah, the second series, second season in the TV series, but loving this so far. Um, definitely at the top of my TBR. I have been trying to get to this for months, so I'm definitely glad I picked this up. And then The Mist of Solitude, read a standalone. This is one I just got and I already took the cover off as you can see, but um, it's one I wanted to pick up in September because it is about the attacks on 9-11. So this is Ground Zero by, I believe it's Alan Grant. Yeah, Alan Grant. So this is about 9-11 from a little boy's perspective. He was in the towers when the attacks happened. So I knew I wanted to pick this up this month so this will be my standalone and then ruin of the sky read a book featuring a ghost haunted house or other supernatural elements this is another reread this is city of ghosts by victoria schwab i read this october last year and loved it so i am rereading the series because i want to pick up the third book um bridge of souls which i believe is also the last one i have to start here so want to reread City of Ghosts. I think I started it. I did. And I'm on page 86, but I think I'm going to restart it. Look at this pretty bookmark. I think I'm going to restart it and start from the beginning again. Then we have Obsidian Falls, which is read a thriller or a mystery book. So I mentioned reading Truly Madly Deadly last month. This is by the same author. This is The Girl in the Headlines by Hannah Jane. 
This is about a girl who goes to sleep on her 18th birthday and then wakes up in a motel room the next day covered in blood, doesn't know what happened, but the headlines are saying she killed her family. So this sounds amazing. Apparently her father is dead, her mother's in a coma, and her brother is missing. So she hooks up with this guy named Nate who is gonna help her, apparently working at the motel's front desk, and they have to rush against the police to figure out what happened before she gets arrested. Um, this sounds so good. I loved Truly Madly Deadly. That had some twists and turns. I did not see the ending coming, so definitely want to pick this up. Um, and then we have Tower of Rumination, read a five-star prediction, Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. This is my five-star prediction. This is uh, Maureen Johnson's fourth book in the Truly Deadly, no, Truly Deadly, Truly Devious universe. This does not, is not connected to the first three books. It's happens over the summer after those three books. So this follows CV to a summer camp where the owner of the camp says, you know, come to my camp, solve this mystery. So she goes with her friends to solve another mystery where I believe it was four teenagers were murdered and their bodies were found in a box in, a, in the woods. So that's where that is. Um, definitely looking forward to it. And then the final one is the Aurelium Academy arc, which is a book with a school setting. So keeping up with my thriller mystery vibes that I've been feeling for the past few months, I'm gonna pick up A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. Um, I've waited to pick this up because I wanted to have all the books before I started the first one because if it's anything like Truly Devious, once I start one, I'm gonna wanna read all of them. So this follows Charlotte Holmes and Jamie Watson, the great, great, great grandchildren of Sherlock and Watson. So originally Charlotte wants nothing to do with Jamie, um, but then something happens. Uh, a student at their school dies and they are being framed for murder. So they have to team up to prove their innocence. Um, apparently the student dies under suspicious circumstances ripped straight from the most terrifying of the sherlock holmes stories sounds really interesting i've heard great things so i definitely want to pick this up um and then those were all the prompts for the magical read-along i'm not gonna worry about the character creation because you can do those through april of next year i think and i'll probably decide to do one a month up till then so i have one more book i'm probably gonna pick up more but i have one more book to put on my TBR. And this one is a romance that includes gods and stuff like that. So this is The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin. This is the first book in a trilogy um, about this girl who's an outcast, and but when her mother dies, she's summoned to the majestic city of Skye, where she's named heiress to the king. But the throne is not easily won, and she's thrust into a power struggle. So apparently this was N.K. Jemison's debut book. So definitely want to pick this up. I started it, but I only got like four pages in, so that's, that's nothing. I definitely want to pick up this trilogy. I heard amazing things from Riley Marie. So, and I wanted to read something by N.K. Jemison, but I'm not crazy big on um like straight adult fantasy. I think it's kind of dense for me. So I figured this is a good starting point. Young woman must survive intrigue, betrayal, and passion. So the passion part was what caught me, but um, very much want to pick this up. So those are the books I'm going to try and read for September. Um, since I graduated, very happy. Um, I should be able to read more, but I also start work next week. So we'll see how that goes. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know down in the comments below what you are reading this month. Very much look forward to it. And if you have any thriller horror recommendations for me, um, middle grade, YA or adult, doesn't matter let me know please because i'm definitely looking for more i have a shelf full of thrillers and horrors that i want to get to this month this um season but let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>